Uh, what, what league is this? I didn't check. Oh. So we're taking a look at HRE versus China. One of my viewers wanted to see what HRE could have done better. This is Diamond, okay. Alright. So, uh... If it's Diamond, I'm pretty sure, like, the build order should be reasonably well fleshed out. Opening double scout, which I like with HRE. I really like getting a uh, double scout just so you get more sheep as HRE. Because sometimes you come under a lot of early pressure. And if you want a fast castle or produce units or whatever, you need that safe food source at the beginning. It's also good for identifying where all the relics are. Having the information on whether your opponent's going to attack you or not. The build order, okay. I, I'm, I was a bit mistaken. I think this build order is not optimized. Uh, very late to the gold here. So he's probably going to take an extra... Well, she... I, I think this is a girl named Sarah. Uh, I think he's gonna age, she's going to age up a little bit later than what she would have liked to here. Maybe like 10, 15 seconds or something. You can see there's like quite a bit of excess food. And still not on wood either. He's going. Is, I think this might be a naked fast castle. This sheep placement's not very optimal. It's like in between the arc and, and the town center, but not like right next to it. So you straight away you're losing your, like gathering speed uh, for your villagers here. So another little mistake here. Um, up against China as well. Um, I'm not 100% sure on what the meta with this matchup is. I haven't played a lot of HRE lately. Uh, I know it used to be like HRE would go fast in because China would try and be greedy in 2TC song. But uh, we'll see what China gets up to this game. This looks like a naked, uh, a naked fast castle. She, she hasn't started chopping any wood yet. Um... Probably gonna chop this straggler because it's right next to the Arkan. What's this? A Barbican rush. Alright. And already the uh the naked fast castle is gonna get punished really hard here. So a good response typically to a barbecue rush is getting archers out so they can't keep creeping around with towers around your base. I'm not 100% sure uh, if that's what they're going to do, but they definitely saw it. Uh oh, that's a very aggressive Barbican. Mm, this is not going to do anything. He's going to fight the villagers. Honestly, I don't mind this uh, because you have no wood for like an archery in the next stage. But I mean, you're idling eight villages right now. Okay, this is good. Okay, this is what I like to do if I'm ever in a situation like this. Um, pull one extra vill to what they have so you can win a vill fight. Um, so you're not idling too much. But, I mean, off the back of this, there's been a little bit of idle time on the TC. Uh, these scouts should be hitting the other scout as well. Whenever the scout comes to fight, your scouts are better off attacking the scout. So, because scouts get extra damage against other scouts. Uh, so you should really be focusing this scout down first, because as you can see, your scouts are losing health. The only thing I'm concerned about right now is sure you're like delaying this Barbican, but this run around is going to happen forever until you actually get some units out. And this is why I don't like the Naked Fast Castle, uh, because you can get punished quite easily, because you don't have wood for anything, right? But this China made the mistake of not building a tower before the Barbican. But if the China built a tower here, um, it's a lot quicker to build than the Barbican. And then these vills can't chase your vills around. So, all you Chinese Barbican rushes, I recommend doing that. If you're only bringing four or five vills, uh, you, yeah, you definitely want to be uh, building a tower first. Like, if you had like eight or nine vills, like building the Barbican, you could just rush it up. Oh my god, he's coming. Holy moly. 
He's bringing six more bills here. Imagine if you just had the wood for an archery range right now. This wouldn't be happening, right? Uh, so I recommend just not doing this, especially against, like, China. I think the higher you go up, uh, in, in terms of, like, um, in ranks, uh, people are gonna know how, how to punish, like, pure naked bus castle here. Um, and this, this barbecue, barbican should never have gone up. And I think from here, like, it's, it's going to be a real big struggle to, uh... You're going to be so slow to transition to wood and actually get any production out. Even if you do get up to castle, um, your, your base is probably going to be surrounded by towers completely. Um, and none of this would be happening if you just had, like, three archers. This tower wouldn't go up because your archers would be killing them. Can prevent barbecue rush with palisades too. Not, r I mean, you're not gonna palisade your whole base, um, and they'll just move the barbican if you end up palisading in a certain spot. Hmm. So I'd just say right now, like, the, yeah, at this point it's pretty much GG because you can't get wood, and it just comes down to this super greedy build. Is way too greedy. And now you're using all of your wood for towers, reacting to what China's doing rather than actually getting any like production down or anything like that. Uh, what's China doing off the back of this? Oh, he's he's all in on this. He's not even like. I mean, he he might add in two CC song or something off the back of this, but. I'm gonna. And now you're just spending, like, so much wood on getting towers all around your base. Delaying your castle. And I would have snuck some bills out by now to finish off the gold that you need to age up. But keep in mind as well, China's going to build the outpost quicker than you, like, per bill. And this is going to go up before yours, even, even though um, you have one extra bill on this. And now, like, even if you did manage to get up, like, you're not going to be able to get any relics. You might be able to sneak one here, but I'm guessing China's going to get a tower down here as well. Um, down to 20 bills as well. So even if you did get the relics, you're, like, still going to struggle super hard. Like, what's this? 21 bills. 29. So China lost, like, a bunch as well that he didn't need to. So assuming that he didn't lose those bills, he would be, like, even further ahead right now. But even if you do get this tower up, like, what are you going to do? Like, once uh, you're trying to get relics, if he has a tower here, you're, like, literally completely surrounded. You can't get any resources now. It looks like you're dropping a stable. I'm surprised that there was no effort. Like, let's just have you scout. Has this been scouted? It's been scouted. I, I'm really shocked that there's been no effort to go get the uh, gold in the extremity here, or build a market and trade just to get up. Because like, you need relics in now or you lose. Like, at this stage of the game, you need to get up the castle because you're so far far behind economically. Not only economically, like, complete loss of math. I'm just gonna speed through this, because, I mean, it's pretty much over at this stage. What is this? Like, what? What? <laughs> Wait. Uh... Roxy Spearmans, okay. Losing bills here. You got no food left. But you're very limited with how much wood you can access. This is over. So I think maybe against certain sieves, 
uh, you're more likely to get away with the naked fast castle. But, um, like, if people catch on to what you're doing and see that you're not chopping any wood, I'll just do the same thing but slightly delayed. Like, surround your base with towers um, and starve you of all resources. I'm not a fan of this fast castle build. Is uh like even if you do have success with it, the further you go up in the ranks, uh, the less effective it's gonna be. Is uh China added in TCs or anything? Uh, this China's just all in right now, but it doesn't really matter because he's so far ahead. Guard flood, it's torn. Yeah, so those are a few things uh, that I mentioned. Just the build itself, too greedy. Um, the response to the Barbican, like the fact you didn't have archers, just meant he could creep around your whole map with uh, towers for free. Um, and then that's just like a knock-on effect of um, the naked fast castle build. Especially against China, you really need to be cautious of that. Yeah, some strats are like really OP up to a certain rank and then as soon as like people at that threshold know how to counter it, quite often those super OP builds are like um, hard countered at, at uh, higher ranks. I mean, there's obviously exceptions to that, like the Mongol Tower Rush when it was stupidly OP. 